Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my Cascading Style Sheets drop-down menu tutorial. Here I'm going to teach you how to make drop-down menus like you see down here. And this is a very crazy presentation, but it should be very easy to understand. I'm going to go down through here first off and explain what it takes to build this little guy. And it's not that complicated. After you watch this, you should be able to easily make these menus. First, I have the entire menu system encapsulated with a div. Then inside of the div, I have a table. And you can see right here, it is called, or referred to in Cascading Style Sheets, as table.navbar. Then underneath of that, I have the individual columns that contain the menu bar. And it is referred to as td.menuNormal. Inside of that is a table. The, the drop down part right here is a table that contains individual divs. Whenever you want to make styling changes to the whole entire table itself, you would refer to it as table.menu. And then if you want to make changes to the individual pieces, you would make changes with cascading style sheets to div.menuNormal. Now the most important part of this whole entire menu is the cascading style sheets. So that is what I'm going to focus on to make sure you completely understand how those operate. You can see here again, remember the whole entire thing is a table inside of a div element. So here I am changing all the styling inside of the entire table. Then here I am changing all the styling for the table that contains the divs in the drop down menu. Here, I'm making styling changes to the individual elements, the main part of the menu bar. Here, I'm showing you what will occur to these individual elements whenever I put my mouse over top of them. And you can see here what happens is the background color changes to a light blue from a dark blue. This is the first part of the cascading style sheet that you might not understand. And if you don't understand the cascading style sheets at all, watch my cascading style sheet tutorial. Here, I'm changing the position attribute to static and making that the normal attribute for menu normal. However, if somebody puts their mouse over top of this item right here, what I'm going to do is display it for them to be so that they are able to see it. And I do that by changing the display to inline. And then I also change the positioning to absolute positioning, meaning that I want to place it in a very specific position. Here is all the styling changes I am making for all of the different anchor text. And that is pretty much all that goes into designing a cascading style sheet menu in regards to just the cascading style sheet part. Now I'm going to go over to the HTML part. Here I'm starting off my HTML file exactly the way that I normally do. I'm using transitional instead of strict, and if that doesn't make sense, take a look at the HTML tutorial. Here I'm linking out to my cascading style sheets, which you just saw over here. Here I'm, I'm linking to my JavaScript code, which you're going to see down here, and then I'm opening up everything. Remember I referred to the fact that I have the whole entire menu bar inside of a div? Well, this is the div that contains the entire menu bar. This drop-down menu is created using a table named navbar, and it has a default width of 800 pixels. Here we are creating the first column in the table and assigning the CSS attributes assigned to menu normal. We are setting the width of each column in the menu bar to 160 pixels right here, and we will trigger JavaScript functions on both the on mouse over and on mouse out events, as you can see here and you can see here. This is the menu item name that will appear at the top of the screen inside of a box. So you see here menu 1, here I have menu 6. That's where you define what shows up there. Each drop down menu is contained within a div element nested within each top level column element. There is a table nested inside of each of those divs. And when a on mouse over event is triggered, the div's attribute display is switched from none to inline, as we saw over here with the cascading style sheets code. And this allows the visitor to see the div on the screen. And this is really all there is to creating each of these menu items. So there's not a whole lot you need to know or remember. You basically, everything starts and stops in this area right here. So basically, I'm defining the entire menu. I only do this once. 
defining the total width of the menu bar. I do this once, and then here is, from this point right here, the definition of this column down to the closing of this column right here. This is the only code that you will need to duplicate to make additional menu items. So let's say you wanted to add a menu item 8 and 9 and 10 and so forth and so on. Well, of course, you're going to have to change the width on that to uh, accompany the fact that the entire menu is 800 pixels wide. So if you want everything to fit within that 800 pixels, you're going to have to continue to define smaller and smaller widths each time you add an additional item to the menu bar. And remember I said that on an on mouse over event and a on mouse out event, we're going to call JavaScript. Well, that JavaScript is right down here. And this is what it does. When a on mouse over event is triggered by a mouse pointer going over top of a specific div, what we're doing here with the JavaScript is saying, okay, what div specifically triggered the on mouse over event? And we want to assign the identification name to this variable right here. And then we want to change the class, which we defined over here for that specific div to a menu hover version of the class instead of the previous class definition that was menu normal. And then on a on mouse out event, we're going to instead call collapse and change the styling of that div back to menu normal. And that is basically all that goes into designing an entire menu system using a little tiny bit of JavaScript, a little bit of HTML, and a good bit of cascading style sheets. You can see here, this is a pretty elaborate little menu system. Of course, I can make it more elaborate, but I kept it quite simple just so that it would be easy to understand how I put it together. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Till next time.